I have a question. Uh, Dean, or the very Reverend uh, Herminio de Gohoy, o kaya si Jonathan Santos, sa department policy, ano ba department policy ng UST? Uh, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, if I may please be allowed, just very, very briefly to respond to the statement earlier yes. of Attorney Kapunan regarding filing of uh, libel uh, cases. So we have filed three libel cases against uh, the good lawyer and one against, his, against her son. Uh, it's one thing to make a statement about the case, but another thing to make malicious imputation that tend to destroy dignity, honor, and good name of a person that's been built painstakingly over 52 years, Your Honor. Now, in response to your question, Mr. Chairman, uh, the grounds for debarment uh, under our policies, well, we have various grounds. One is uh, failure to meet the QPI. QPI means a minimum average to be able to progress to the next semester. Uh, nine unit rule, meaning you failed nine units in one semester. Yes. Or uh, one half load rule, meaning you failed uh, one half of the load for that semester. So what's the required QPI for students? Uh, it, it for each semester, I mean. Uh, 78 for first year, uh, Mr. Chairman. 78 for first year, second year. 79. And third year. 80, Mr. 80, Chairman. And then fourth year. 80 also, 80 Mr. Chairman. Also. So, may papakita lo kong table dito, ano? Yung, with, with the names, ano? We, we, I, I mean no offense, ano? Sure, Pero sir. iyan yung table po, if you can read. Based on this table, Ten members were were allowed to enroll, no? You you allowed admission for the current semester, 2017 to 2018. Pero kung titingnan natin to, parang apat lang yung qualify So why is that? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Is there uh, a uh, another standard for ages juries? No, no, Mr. Chairman. If I may please yeah, be allowed please. to clarify, Mr. Chairman, uh, it takes time before the grades can be computed. For a particular semester, the grades for the first semester were not yet available, so. Uh, we sort of accommodated about 68 students. We allowed them to uh, enroll for the next semester pending uh, completion of the grades, Mr. Chairman. So if it turns out that there's a ground for debarment, then they'll be debarred the following sem. It's a benefit that was extended to 68 students, uh, Mr. Chairman. It's not intended to favor one particular group, Mr. Chairman. So, gano ba katagal magsabit ng grades yung uh, mga faculty? Well, uh, there were about Two to three uh, faculty members, Mr. Chairman, yes. we did not submit the grades on time. It will delay the enrollment, Mr. Chairman. And this is preceding a two-month vacation? Yes, Mr. So Chairman. So, katagal? And that's why attention has been, I mean, we have called attention to the concerned faculty members. And in one instance, we did not give but a load. I, I, I just can't understand, you know, dito, preceding dito, two months yung vacation. Hindi pa rin nakasabit ng grades? Hindi pa natopan? Yes, Your Honor, about three of them, Your Honor. So that's a reflection of UST's efficiency, Reverend Father. No, they will not be given a load, Mr. Chairman. It's a it's a very little problem in, in law school, Mr. Chairman, that uh, grades are are not submitted in time. Well, if I alam niyo kung suspicioso kung mag-isip, baka kailangan para may mga magre-recruit, mauubos yung members ng uh, ages juries pagka sinunod yung debarment policy, as you mentioned earlier. Kung yung uh, academic standards susundin, walang may iwan eh. Um, ilan? Ilan lang may iwan? Apat. They will be debarred. Many of them will be debarred. Uh, uh, been the GP, the head, and the head yeah. previous to him were all debarred, Mr. Chairman. The point, Mr. Chairman, is that this is not intended to favor or benefit one group. But the head uh, remains. Six to eight students. Uh, Mr. Balag is already debarred, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, but they're still there, and they were able to recruit at you. Eh. No, for the same, uh, already debarred, Mr. Chairman. For the same, but uh, unfortunately, September 17, <laughs> nangyari yung kay Atyo. Kung debarred siguro, hindi na sila nakapag-recruit kay Atyo. Baka buhay pa si Atyo ngayon. Hindi well, ba? Mr. Chairman, uh, we, what I'm saying is that it's not intended to favor any particular group. In fact, 68 students uh, benefited well, from Dean, this. With all due respect, it doesn't seem so. Huh? It doesn't seem so. It doesn't seem so based on this table. Because kung susundin natin yung department policy and compare it with this table, apat nga lang yung dapat na andyan eh. About, na admit eh. I was told by the faculty retired about six, six students from uh, ages jurors out of 68. 
will sort of benefit from this uh, from this policy, Mr. Chairman. Anyway, okay. please, gentlemen. Mr. Chair, just, uh, if, if I may, in, in just in that particular, in that, oh, in that from particular another point. From another uh, USD uh, alumnus. No, because, uh, Mr. Chair, if if I recall, the last time I was here during the the first hearing, I <laughs> during the first hearing, Mr. Chairman, I remember I raised that issue of uh, website, if you would recall. And uh, I remember after that hearing, I was brought straight to St. Luke's, uh, Mr. Chairman. But I, 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 I just remember, Mr. Chairman, during that hearing, we talked about it and we asked our, uh, uh, our dean from uh, UST, uh, Faculty of Civil Law, about that uh, web website. And I think I even asked if it is really Divina Law, of, law, law Office na nagmamanage po nung uh, website. Kahapon, Mr. Chair, I tried to Google and, and look at the UST Civil Law website. Nandun pa rin po yung ano? Nandun pa rin yung uh, uh, Aegis Juris uh, Fraternity nakalagay po doon. And uh, again, Mr. Chairman, parang promotion pa rin po ito. Hindi ko alam kung aware pa rin po ang ating Dean, si Dean Divina. Because last hearing, I, I mentioned this. And uh, unfortunately, if I'm in the shoes of the family of uh, Acho, medyo masakit pa rin po. Nandun pa rin po eh. Uh, are you still aware of this? Last time uh, we checked, Mr. Chairman, it was not there. Uh, sir, you go to Google. This morning, this morning <laughs> yung, yung staff ko went to Google again and it's still there. Baka naman... But it should be parang, removed, Mr. Chairman. It should be removed, Mr. Chairman. Uh, it should of, be removed. Out of respect lang. It should be removed, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I think, it's there. It should I be think removed. it should be removed. Thank you. I just want to uh, raise that up, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Senator Grace, uh, you're recognized. Uh, Mr. Chairman, just to clarify, if you go to the website of USC, it's not there. But if you go to Google, it leads you to a site. And it contains all the... All the history of uh, the website, Mr. Chairman. But if you check the website itself, it's no longer there. But, um, but you're the one me. managing the website. No, it's Google, Your Honor, makes reference to the history of the website, old and current. But so if you check the website of UST, it's no longer there, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Uh, I believe, Chairman, uh, Mr. Mrs. Um, Castillo would like to call. Um, uh, during the course of his... Uh, uh, maybe... Um, around last week of August to the first week of September. Um, he was already researching about the fraternity and its connections. It's, it's apparently it's connected to the Dean as Divina Law. So that's why he was um, enticed. He was invited to join. He didn't apply. He was recruited. You know, um, it took him a while before he decided to join. You see, apparently he didn't want to join. He joined because basically the picture of the dean was in the flyer. And he said, maybe I'll consider. <coughs> because of course, he's the dean. So that's why he joined. And unfortunately, this happened. Um, we're giving this, we're, going to we're submitting already the laptop of my son to, the, to show uh, researches that he made with regards to the fraternity, its connections to the Divina Law, and, and all the other documents. Mr. Chair, may I be allowed to also ask a question to the Dean. Dean Divina, good morning, Paul. Yes, sir. You're a good morning. Dean, at the last hearing, um, that we had. Medyo magulo nun, several testimonies were given and um, a lot of our colleagues had asked a certain number of questions. Uh, and um, I remember a question was asked on you on when you did you know of the death of Acho Castillo. I clearly remember, it didn't sink to me af until after the hearings. I clearly remember you saying 12 noon, it's on record. 12 noon of September 17, which is Sunday. Why did you not immediately notify the parents of Acho Castillo? Thank you for uh, giving me the chance to uh, clarify, Mr. Chairman. 
uh, that was about 12 to 13 uh, p.m. after I attended Mass, that I spoke with our faculty secretary, and uh, he informed me that uh, a student died allegedly because of hazing. I asked him to uh, get the full name and the address right away so we can talk to the parents. And I also told him to talk to the Father Regent to inform me about it. And around uh, nearing 6 p.m., uh, I got another call from the faculty secretary informing me that uh, based on unconfirmed reports, the student carried allegedly the name of Castillo. I did not have the full name, Mr. Chairman, nor the address. I only had the surname. If I have the full name and the surname, I would have gone to the parents myself. But I only had the surname, Mr. Chairman. So I thought it's more prudent to wait for the confirmation as to the full name and the address before I alert the authorities. And obviously, without the full name and the address, I cannot talk to the, to the parents. But if I had, had those details, Mr. Chairman, I would have gone to the parents right away. Who informed you, uh, Dean? The faculty secretary. At, at 12 me, noon. No, at 12. 12.15 after Mass, yes. uh, Mr. Chairman, our faculty secretary informed me that based on a confirmed report, the student died allegedly because of hazing. So I asked him right away, get the full name and the address, and nearing 6 p.m., we spoke again, and he told me that the student carried the surname of Castillo. But no complete name, no address, Mr. Chairman. You know, Dean, it's hard for me to believe that uh, your story did. I'm sure... Your brads had called you up by that time already, informing you. Uh, of course, your story is your story, and what we believe is what we'd like to believe. But uh, as dean of the College of Law in uh, USD, it's under your watch. Eh? See, Senator Lacson was former PNP chief, and he headed units. And I'm sure if his men had passed away during operations, he personally would make sure that he would call up next of kin of, that, uh, of, their, of their unit to inform them of the death of their family member. It's kind of hard for me to believe that you only actually approached the family in the wake. No call was made. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's only September 20, a Wednesday, or three days after Atyo's death, which was reported by media, that uh, you had visited the wake of Acho's parents. No call was made, no letter was given, no announcement. That's your watch, Dean. That's your family. That is your responsibility as Dean of the University. Can you explain yourself? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I do not have the contact numbers of the members of the fraternity. I have kept my distance from them. I do not have their, their, as I said, their telephone numbers, their contact numbers, their addresses. I only learned the report of the faculty secretary. And uh, I spoke with the mother of uh, Atio on Monday, uh, Mr. Chairman, through, the, uh, through a former student, Claire Castillo. So I talked to her Monday and assured her that I will help in bringing the perpetrators to justice. And I went to the wake on Wednesday, only on Wednesday, because I was told that the body, the remains should be made available for viewing only on Tuesday, Your Honor. But Dean, the school records are clear. You have the last name, how many Castillos are there in UST law. You have the addresses, I'm sure, and this can be confirmed by UST. You have the addresses, you have the home numbers, you have the numbers of next of kin. I've been, I'm also a university. I graduated from University of the Philippines. They have all my details, my contact details of my parents. I had given them all. So it is impossible that the Dean of University would not know one of the students. I'm sure your students are not numbering more than thousands. I'm sure they're by the hundreds. It's easily re recovered. I mean, there was no push on your part to actually... Uh, that's what pains me, uh, Dino. Uh, it only dawned to me afterwards uh, when I, I remember even approaching you after the session and I said, please help in the speedy justice of this case. You promised. And yet no one of your members have come out to support this case. No one. Not even Solano, who promised to do it several times during hearing and in executive session. So, you know, you can't also blame us for how we feel. Na talagang nagago kami ng grupong ito. And I feel that justice should be uh, uh, meted out. And uh, it's unfortunate, Dino. Uh, you could have done more. I feel that that day, you should have done more to be able to reach out to the family and be the one to inform them, not through an anonymous text message 
Well, for 20, almost 24 hours, the poor parents of Acho Castillo was going from morgue to morgue, hospital to hospital, looking for a body of their child. Kung anak mo yan din, nangyari sa'yo, put yourself in their shoes. You people, you have brothers and sisters, put yourself in your shoes. Kung nangyari yan sa mga kapatid nyo. I believe uh, Mrs. Castillo would like to, uh, Acho or uh, uh, Ma'am uh, Mini. Um, for the record, I've never spoken to uh, Dean. Ma never. Ma'am, I think Monday to Claire Castillo. I spoke with um, you Monday after. I really don't converse with Miss Claire Castillo. I use the phone of Claire. And um, I, I never remembered anything that kindly I kindly address the chair. Me. I'm sorry. Kindly yes, address sorry, the chair. Sorry, pa. Uh, so, Mr. Chair, are you saying Dean? that you spoke to Mrs. Castillo through another, through somebody else's phone? 